Hello pilots, today is very exciting because Ellen just sent me the first build of our newest generator, which is called Radar Generator, and I thought it would be a cool idea to try it out and film my first impressions with it, because I literally just installed it and I haven't played with it at all, and also so you guys have a look of what's coming up. I know there's a couple of new features that I'm very excited to try out, one of them being the built-in oscilloscope, which is something that we've been trying to add for a long time and it's finally happening. And also there's gonna be an effect section that is gonna include a graphic equalizer, some filters, a limiter, and also a delay. All right, so let's just open this up. Well, at first look, you're gonna see that there's an oscilloscope here and I'm so excited to try that out. All right, let's go. Nice! That's so cool. All right, so when you hover here, you are able to change the parameters. So you can change the brightness, that's cool. You can change afterglow, not sure what that is. Is that, oh, okay. I see. Oh, that's like the decay. All right. What is dot limit? Oh, all right, so you can actually set it to dots only and like no dots. So it just looks like a line. All right, I see that you can change it to 1D. Let's try that out. Oh, nice. That's so cool. Uh, oh, also you can change number of cycles. That's nice. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. All right. That's awesome. I like it. Oh, and also you can change the... Oh, nice. It has a bunch of presets. Let's try analog red. Uh, nice. Blue cream. Pretty pink. Oh, that's nice. That's so cool. Light blue. Light green. I like that. White out. Nice, it's black out. Oh, nice, I like this one. Rainbow. That looks so cool. Oh, cool. Okay. Fire. Nice. That's awesome! Man, it's so cool to have it right here because before you had to have pretty scope on the side. I mean, you can still have it, but this is such a cool feedback of what you're playing. And also, you can bypass it too if you don't need it, I guess. Alright, so that was all for the oscilloscope part. So let's go over the core parameters. Let's start with the face. Um, that one, we always have face. Alright. Um, with the sub face. Oh, that's crazy. It really it really feels like the image is like... Okay, that's so cool. Uh, we can set the rotation speed of the subface. Oh, nice. It's so cool that we can see what's happening here. You can change it from cylinder to flat. I guess it's flat right now. So this would change it to a cylinder. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, nice. That's cool. I like that. You can change the density, which is the length of the spiral. Oh, okay. I see it. It actually makes the spiral grow. Okay. Let's go. You can control the sharpness of the internal triangle oscillator. Oh, okay. You add a harmonics with this. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I see it. Nice. Oh, you can also change the curve um, of the triangle oscillator. I'm not hearing anything. 
Oh, you need to enable one of these. All right, so let's do with this one. Okay, how does this one sound? Oh, you can have both. Okay. Both. Nice. And you can change the direction, which is the... How the spiral arms connect, ranging from smooth, sharp. Oh, okay. Let's see that. Uh, that's so good. Okay. And the shade makes the sound nasally. Lap is the number of spiral rotations, so let's see. Oh, okay, I see it. And then we have a button that says BAM, which gives the appearance of a scan line. Alright, let's see. Alright, then we can change the inner land. Nice. Now we can change the outer land. Oh, you can make it grow. <laughs> nice. Then you can change the inner sea there. Oh, cool. And you can change the outer one. Oh, nice. Then we have um, protrusion. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna play with it. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right, I see. It's kind of like if you change the angle like that, and now the y axis should be the same. Yeah. So you can make it move like in the corner like that. Okay. You can choose the ratio. And then you have four options here. All right, so with this one, you invert the face. With this one, you invert like, a, you have a, like a mirror image of your radar. Cool. You can ring cut. Oh, okay, this one makes like, it, it makes it into a circle instead of something discontinuous. All right. And then we have spiral return, which is... Okay, so it's kind of the same as this one. So... so you can choose any in whatever order, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so that'll be all for the core part of it. I'm very excited to later try out with a bunch of crazy modulations with it. Uh, the, all the rest we already are familiar with. Um, it's just the same thing as always. However, there's now an effect step that you can see right here. And when we click on it, we are able to see an equalizer. Oh man, that's so cool. Filter, a limiter, and a delay. Ah, oh, I didn't know we had a filter here. That's nice, okay. All right, so the equalizer is your typical graphic equalizer. I guess you put a dot here, and then you move it and boost or anything. Then you have several modes here for notching, low pass, high pass, okay. You can move it like this if you want. If you right click on it, you can find some values. Okay, that's cool. There's like preset values. That's nice. All right, so let's try this out with a sound. Let's give it a boost. Let's get some bass. Nice. Let's try the high shelf. You can choose the range, which I guess, yeah, that would be the dynamic range of your graphic equalizer. So yes, you can even go further down or up. Okay, and you can bypass it, same way as all of this. Uh, let's try now the filter. So there's your high pass right here. Um, when you right click on it, oh nice, you can do modulation on it. That's super cool. So let's try the low pass. All right, so let's try the limiter. Let's unbypass that. Uh, so you got your attack, your release, your pre-compression gain, that's it? Yeah. 
uh, your threshold, your out level, and your oh nice, you have your dry wet signal, so you can actually do some parallel stuff here. All right, so let's try this. Let's move the threshold. awesome and if you right click yes you can modulate all of this I believe yes you can modulate this with anything so let's bypass that and let's move on to the delay all right so we can see in the delay we have a tempo sync so you can actually synchronize it with the BPM of your DAW uh, feedback amount pan uh, you can control the EQ here um, ping pong oh you can make it stereo delay and a dry web slider all right so let's see how that sounds let's move this delay time to kind of short all right so feedback amount let's give it like okay cool oh it's now in ping pong mode i believe yeah Okay, that's awesome. I love this. So that will be all for the new effects section. You're going to be able to have a graphic equalizer, a filter, a limiter, and a delay. And you can modulate your filters, um, your limiter, and also your delay. Yes, you can modulate any parameter here. And I believe that's pretty much all the new stuff there is to it. So I'm going to be definitely playing more with this and see if I can make a song and maybe upload it to this channel this week. That's going to be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be uploading more demos and info about radar generators soon this week. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.